So Seki, we're at the Hilton Comrade in Dubai, currently on a trip to Dubai Sevens, and you've obviously recently been in Abu Dhabi joining up with us. You've come back from quite a long spell on the sidelines injured. Just talk us through those months and how they how you're feeling, how you've been, what stage you're at. Um yeah, it's going good. It's, it's taken a while. Um, you know, obviously first on my back after the Gloucester game way back in April, mid-May sort of found out that I'd had the stress fracture in my back and then yeah, I suppose the initial bit was the most restraining. I had ten weeks of complete shutdown. Um and then uh, sort of four weeks of, of building up into getting ready to bowl and running and things like that. So um, I suppose from then on, I suppose from the back end of September almost when I started bowling, um, it's it's all gone real real well. I've been put through my paces a lot um, during October and even out here over November. And um, I suppose right now I'm just almost final stages, uh, just before match intensity. I suppose so. It's um, it's just going well. And how how's it been recently? Because obviously we saw online that you were bowling out in Abu Dhabi, joining up the England boys when they were playing their Lions game out there. How was that to be back in that group and back in the mix after a lot of time away? Yeah, I mean personally, from a bowling point of view, it's, it's been great uh, being able to sort of carry on bowling outdoors. I'd, I'd got to an intensity just before coming out here indoors where I was ready to, to push on, um, and it's quite hard to do that indoors. So being able to do that out here in the sun has been amazing. Uh, you know, I'm off, off full run, I'm bowling at batters um, and to sort of be back in an environment, in a team environment again, it was nice. I haven't had that since I was injured. Um, you know, I've done a lot of training on my own, just me, physio and s and and it's, it's been long. Uh, so this time, obviously, having, you know, guys I can train with, getting involved in, in scenarios and things like that has, has been good fun. You mentioned how you kind of haven't been in that environment for a while. Is that one of the kind of the biggest things about an injury like this that you are away and kind of isolated quite a lot within it? And what toll does that take kind of mentally throughout that period? Yeah, mentally it's hard. I think when you're on your own, it's easy to have a lot of negative thoughts and a lot of doubts. Um, and you know, in, in a case of an injury like this, you are on your own a lot, and that's the reality of it. It's you and somebody training with you. <coughs> um, and that's it really, but the, I think for me, sort of being back out there, being amongst people, sort of training around guys, is, um, you just sort of feel like it's back to back to normality again almost. And has it helped you, because obviously in a similar situation to Joff, how he's had an injury trying to come back both as bowlers, has it helped to maybe have other people that kind of look like they're going along the same journey at that time? Um, I suppose so, because throughout the whole process, we'd catch up every couple of weeks uh, just to see how each other were getting on, what how they were progressing, whether they'd start running or bowling yet. Um, and then even out here, sort of training, we were training together a lot. We had pretty similar programs. It was just ahead of where I am, but I think obviously from my point of view, uh, if I was feeling a certain way or if I pulled up a little stiff, it's quite nice having someone there who is literally just where you were at a few weeks ago and just to tell you it's normal and things like that. So um, as, as horrible as it is seeing somebody else have one, um, you know, from my point of view, it was quite nice that somebody was in that with me almost. So now obviously you're looking to really kind of fake the back end of the comeback stage and what are your expectations in the coming months, next couple of months, what's next and what are you... What's your aim coming into the new season in 2023? Um, so I think for me, over the next couple of months, it's a case of, of being a little patient. I think I'm at an intensity now where I'm bowling at batters in nets and I'm obviously ramping it, ramping it up in the nets, but I'm still a little bit away from match intensity. So I've just got to make sure I consolidate over this next couple of months and then hopefully from then on, um, see what's available, try and get try and see if I can get myself back in an England shirt before the start of the summer. Um, if that doesn't happen, then then full focus onto onto Lancashire and obviously building up towards Red Bull cricket at the start of the season. And you know, obviously, fixtures came out early this week, so um, it's it's exciting. Like looking at all the fixtures, seeing the games, and what to look forward to. So you know, even now, I know we're a few months away from it, so I'm quite excited to look forward to that. But to be honest, what I'd love 
at the back end of the season is, is to have a county championship medal and an Ashes medal. I think that would be, you know, after exact after how the last year has gone, to be in a position where I walk away at the back end of the summer with two of those, um, I'd be really happy with that. And you mentioned obviously the fixtures came out yesterday. Is there any one fixture in particular at Emirates or Trafford that you're really looking forward to, or really kind of pinpointing as one you want to be involved in? I mean, the Roses T20 are the, are the ones you always keep a look out for. Uh, we don't have them in the county championship this season. Um, but if I'm being completely honest, I, I just look through the first five fixtures of county championship cricket because I really want to target that block of red ball cricket, try and get myself back in an England shirt. So for me, it was, I was just looking at those and, and seeing how I could attack those and what to prepare for. Just a second.